Hi, Sankat. How are you? Daphne here. Hope you're well. Thank you for sending in your next essay and also for doing your corrections, which look fantastic. Well done. Really, really good work on that. Hope you feel it's quite a good way to improve. Uh, we always find that students who do corrections uh, do really, really well. It makes a big, big difference. So your next essay here on technology. Well done. Has uh, technology made man more social? Do you agree or disagree? And you've got the template here to work with. So this does make your essay a bit long. Um, I'm concerned at the length of this because in 40 minutes you have to question, well, I question whether you'd have time to write this. Um, but we can we can kind of cut as we go along and maybe make sure your next one is not quite so long, okay? Experts throughout the developing and developed world have debated about technology technological impacts on social behavior for individuals. Now, we don't debate about, we debate, you either just debate and then you go into the direct here, debated technological impacts on social behavior for individuals. Okay, about, I can see what you're doing, you're trying to kind of paraphrase what's in the question here, has, um, mm, I think you have to say the impact of technology. Uh, or I, let's go instead actually the technological impact rather than impacts on social behavior um, it doesn't quite work that sentence I can see what you're trying to do uh, debated the technological impact of it's really the impact of technology there isn't really another way around it um, you could say maybe the impact of, so you debated the impact of um, uh, mobile phones and other technology on individuals, on individual social behavior. You just need to change that around a little bit. It doesn't quite work as it is. I see what you're doing by paraphrasing. Uh, show me you understand the question, but make sure it still works in natural kind of English. Yeah. Many have been convinced, no, not have been being, have been convinced by the positive aspects of human interaction with respect to, to technological advancement. Lovely, I like that. Personally, I strongly disagree. And this essay will argue both sides of this, this issue or this comma, citing examples from different, uh, from different, not the, because you're not naming them, reputable, you have to have organizations to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Uh, good, nice intro. Just watch out that first paragraph. Make sure the paraphrasing sounds natural. To begin with, there are evidence. Now, evidence is a trick because actually it works like a singular. So there is ample evidence of public communication which unwraps the constructive behavioral pattern amongst mankind. Oh, unwraps? What do you mean by this? This is a, a kind of lovely sentence, but it doesn't quite mean anything. It unwraps the constructive behavioral pattern amongst humankind. Okay, I'm not sure maybe this is this verb unwraps, which isn't quite working, but let's carry on and see if we can work it out. The central reason behind this is twofold. First, a timely reminder process, such as birthdays uh, process of events such as birthday anniversary helps us to remember specific memorable events of others which makes their day special okay so birthdays so the usual might like being more social okay secondly echoing the echoing of echoing the expression through emoji resembles the emotion of the person's um you don't need to put staying uh, on the other side of the social channel uh, so, so what? So what are you telling me? That that makes us more social? So what these, what these acts of remembering and um, mirroring make us more social? I'm not quite sure how you're connecting that to make us more social. For example, recent empirical research by the Indian Institute demonstrated that 70% of a lonely, depressed person, especially the youth, Okay, seventy percent of not of a of lonely depressed people that should be plural a comma, especially the youth generation 
you know, or younger generation discover or maybe rediscover because it's rediscover their upbeat feelings on social networks. And that's interesting. It must not be forgotten that WhatsApp and Facebook groups play a pivotal role to arrange annual get togethers and help people discover a new friend. Um, I would move this up to here. Okay. For me, this works better. You're still developing your argument. You're telling me why they're important. Yeah. And then you go into your example, and then it's possible to state beyond doubt. Uh, oh, I wouldn't put humo. I just put Homo sapiens. I would just put literally beneficial influence. Yeah. Um, so for me, your paragraph needs to be slightly, <coughs> excuse me, differently organised. Um, I'm not. Sure. Firstly, uh, many applications offer a timely reminder. I think you have to. You have to kind of. We have to use these words. T tell me what you mean here, otherwise it's a bit confused. But otherwise, good paragraph. You understand it. I, I'm not sure about this unwrapping. I, I don't know about what you mean there. Be really careful. Um, like, don't fall into this trick of making your language so fancy and so flowery that it's not natural. Band nine uh, looks for natural and sophisticated. Uh, language okay don't get so sophisticated that you forget the natural I have to read it and I have to understand it yeah on the other hand although there's a case for technology benefiting society um, or benefiting socializing you kind of don't necessarily need that or socialization the detrimental of impact of it cannot be overstated or its detriment, detri detrimental impact cannot be overstated this is largely because of the mechanical way um, yes, you could say the mechanical way it operates. Yeah, you you don't, mm, or maybe the mechanical way it encourages us to keep um, stay in touch with. All right, go go mechanical way because I like that mechanical way of interaction with. Let, let's not have this staying in touch interaction among. Okay, because I think this friends, families, and colleagues is really important. Individuals limiting themselves and their emotions to some machine like phrases like stand up, nice talking to you, uh, do not, uh, not which. So individuals limiting, so individuals limiting themselves as a subject, and then do not, not does not, do not. Oh, I uh, convey actual emotion. Besides, social gathering in person enables children's interpersonal skills to develop. Uh, and I use so instead of and, so they can experience real life emotional aspects which undoubtedly build strong bonds. Don't repeat emotional strong bonds among peers. Okay, and then bonds would be just like that. Okay. For example, a census study by Oxford showed that children having no exposure to social gathering have, so children have, careful, 60% higher chance of being depressed, uh, of being depressed during their adolescent phase. Consistent with this line of thinking is that quality time, I'd say, yeah, quality time. Quality time in person or face to face quality time, I think I'd prefer. Quality time leads to a strong memory, which is need a verb imprinted on their mind or their mind. Therefore, it's conclusively clear that technical communication has a definite limitation. Um, yeah, I like that. Very good. Very good. Okay, that's a nice paragraph. Well done. Um, I'm a bit worried about the length, how fast you can type this, but I know. The template when you first use it is quite heavy, and so we'll get uh, quicker at this. So don't worry about them, not worry too much. So, conclude from the examples just there, an argument's given. I firmly believe that even though technology has helped, present perfect time up till now, not finished, the way of communication to a certain extent, um, you don't need, um, however, because you've got. Uh, you go above. You've got even though they don't go together, like one or the other. Even though in-person gatherings cannot be replaced. Although it's, um, here you could have, however, 
Yeah, here I would have, however, it is predicted that technology, you know, our dependence on, you could have technology will increasingly grow in, in its importance in the future. Nice essay. Well done there. You've got lots of great stuff in there. So the coherence is much, much better using this template. Uh, I just shuffle that paragraph around a little bit. You've got some nice grammar in here. You've got some very good vocab in here as well. I like these timely reminder. Um, you've got lots of uh, annual get together. You've got lots of really nice phrases, pivotal role, um, nice collocations, words which just match together. So great work on that. Uh, letter of apology. Here we go. This or madam, and I'm checking your ending. Your ending, this or madam, you should have yours faith. Okay, watch out for that one. Dear Mr. Smith, is yours sincerely, so you need yours faithfully on your end there, okay? I'm writing this letter in response to the case number, blah, 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 which asks for justification for. Or justification of so for or of preposition my absence during the second semester language exam my name is Fikert yeah I'm a third year biochemistry student my, my number is da, da, da. I'm expressing my sincere apology for my unintentional absence during my aforementioned exam yeah really good I love that wow super good English very formal exactly right and I love this unintentional absence great aforementioned uh, exam. Maybe you could just say a aforementioned exam or things like that. Okay, that's fine. Due to the weather change, hmm, I was feeling unwell. Now, I had been feeling unwell. Here you've got a lovely chance to put in present perfect, past perfect, sorry. I had been. Past perfect continuous is not, we don't use it often, so you get bonus marks for that one. I had been feeling unwell before something else, okay? So I had been feeling unwell before the exam started, and that day I had a high fever, which contributed to this non attendance After an initial recovery, I went for the health check due to my coughing, and the medical prescription mentions, yeah, and that medical, yeah. I'd request you to consider this as a potential evidence for my unwilling, now, my unintentional, uh, unwilling, not quite, um, unintentional absence. Uh, moreover, uh, could you please, I, instead of this, I would put, I would be grateful if, would be a better structure, if you could, please arrange, so an examination, or an extra examination sitting for that subject, otherwise it would hinder me from, hinder me from getting the final year degree certificate. Again, I apologise, or I'm apologising, it's okay. Yeah, because we said something incident, um, incident, not incidents. Uh, I will be waiting for a positive response. Good. Okay. Really, really nice. Watch out here. Uh, we've got a lot of continuous verbs going on. So here I will just do present simple. I apologize. Otherwise, that is a very, very nice letter. Super, super good. Wow. Great task. So yeah, really good. Keep going. Well done.